Hello, my name is Harshit Daga and I work as a senior software consultant at Noldus. So today uh, I am I am making this video to to introduce you about Dotty, which is the new Scala language, which is the Scala 3.0. So uh, currently Dotty is uh, now in release candidate, but uh, very soon at the end of this year probably uh, at the end of this year 2020. They are about to launch a stable version of Dotty. Okay, so uh, so before starting with Dotty, uh, uh, you you need a basic setup of Dotty on your system. So so the very first thing is like you need to have IntelliJ IDEA version 2020 or more on your on your system. So so let me first launch the IntelliJ IDEA version 2020 on my laptop. Okay. So, so here, here I launch a version. So, and then let me create a new project here. Okay. So, if you have Dotty, uh, if you if you have sorry, if you have 2020 idea setup on your laptop, so you should see a new option or under Scala project under Scala language, you should see a new option for Dotty. So, click next and give a very nice name to your project. I'll I'll name Dotty starter and uh, let let this Java version be 1.8 and give it the location. So for me, it's going to be desktop and finish. So all within some fraction of seconds, you should see that your SBT project should be available for use. So it is loading project, and I think, and I think this is done. Okay, so your idea is now ready to work on Scala 3.0. Okay, so uh, let's see what it has in build.sbt. Okay, so build.sbt says that current .dot version is 0.27.0 RC1, and the project name is Dotty Simple and its version is 0 0.1.0 .0 and it comes with library dependency of JUnit. I mean, you may you you may use it if you need, but I mean, you you may remove this line if you don't need this. Okay, so for now let it be. I don't want to change this and uh, uh, let's see what you what you have in main. Okay, so it has a main starter point starter object of the application uh, okay so in main you have a main method uh, which is obviously used to used to do as entry point of your application and yes okay so this so so the, the way it is written is uh, is like Java style or you can say Scala 2.0 style of writing main main entry point of your application so so another another way is to uh, another way is to extend your object with app trait and uh, and write your piece of code inside that object. But but what Dotty says Dotty says is to write your main application launcher like this. this so so they've added a new main annotation uh, in dotty scala 3.0 okay so if if you write your method like this so your your uh, compiler will treat this method as an entry point of your application and whenever you launch uh, whenever you launch your application so it will execute from this method so so let's see uh, let's try to run this application first and let's see what what does it output so hopefully it should output hello world and compiled by dotty and uh, and yep it's correct so as you can see you you 
as you can see uh, this is the output which which uh, which was printed when you run this application okay so uh, so another thing is like uh, what if you want to have uh, command line arguments for your application so what you can do is like uh, you can write something like this as as is you used to do it in any uh, your Scala 2 and uh, sorry. so if you, if you print R so you should see something like this and so Let me run it in different ways because uh, your SBT will crash if you if you don't run with, with like with like this uh, signature. So yes. So as you see, uh, two lines are printed successfully. The second one is the list of arguments which are which are printed on the console. So yeah, so so this this is the first change that that uh, Dotty has come up with. So another thing is another fancy thing that Dotty is giving you is like you you can write something like this you can write something like this also and compiler will uh, translate this for you easily Yes. So as you can see, uh, compiler the compiler easily translates this command line ar arguments into your your uh, method arguments. So one one so the first argument is one, and the second argument is taken into the second parameter, and rest all other arguments are taken as a list in other parameter. So this is very very easy and uh, very nice to use and so yeah so that that is the very first thing that I wanted to discuss and the second fancy thing that Dotty has come up with with this is like the optionals so it's, it is now it is now an option to not use the braces uh, in your applications like this so if you can see so I've removed the braces and your your application will still be running fine without any issues so uh, so if you if you if you don't want to use braces inside your application so make sure you you use a proper indentation uh, so like I've used in this is the indentation of two blank spaces so if your if your method starts at column 0 so the body of method should start from column second so two blank spaces one and two okay so by chance if you miss to use two blank spaces let's say here you know if i give only one blank space so the compiler will show you an error that something is not right with the application and yes yes it's correct compiler is giving you an error 
if something is not right with your application the start of this line does not match any of the previous indentation bits so, correct and correct the indentation and run it again so the one one more uh, reason to not use indentation or like giving an option to use indentation is it uh, it re reduces your line of code and other other complex behavior of your application for example for example one programmer may may write your piece of code like this uh, like uh, starting braces uh, at the end of your method signature but another program uh, another programmer may like a piece of code like this In both the cases are correct but it gives a confusion which which one is more correct and which one should uh, should be more feasible so like dotty has given an option to not use any one of them rather rather use proper indentation and that's it okay so so yeah that's that's all for this video hope you hope you like the video thank you very much